So, Tabitha, why have you come to see me? This, this is my first therapy session, and I'm a little bit nervous. Don't be. There's no wrong answers to any questions. Ever since I was a little girl, people kept changing on me. Well, it's natural for people to change over time. No, I mean change. When I was about five years old, one day my dad came into the room, and he was a completely different person. Did he have a change of personality? He had a different everything. Different face, different clothes. He was a totally different person. And I had to pretend like it wasn't happening. It was so weird. Do you think it's possible that your very early memories are somewhat jumbled? Dr. Nielsen, I grew up with a home movie camera stuck in my face all the time. I've watched all the family films. He was a different guy. And it wasn't just my dad, the lady next door, totally different person. My dad's boss's wife, same name, different person. I had to pretend like it wasn't happening. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, so why don't you describe your childhood for me using just, just one word? Okay, um, magical. Magical. That sounds lovely. Really? Have you tried it? It comes with a lot of baggage. Why don't you tell me what magical means for you? People kept popping in and out of my life. I thought it was normal until my classmates, if they wanted to go see their grandma, they had to get in a car and drive to go see her. Your grandmother lived with you? I don't know where she lived. She was everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna... I just call out her name and poof, there she was. You want to know something else that's crazy? Oh, uh, that's why I'm here. When I see pictures of myself and I'm like two, sometimes I think that's me. And sometimes it's like it's my twin sister or something. Okay, I'm just gonna... But I don't have a twin sister. Bye. No siblings. Oh, wait. I actually have a brother. But nobody seems to remember him. What do you mean? I mean, everybody seems to forget about him. Did he die? Probably not. But it's like he doesn't exist. It's almost like he's a trivia question. Trivia question? You want to know something I think about a lot? Oh, sure. My mother's nose. She had the cutest nose in the whole world. If I close my eyes, I can see her wiggle it. Plain as day. Pure magic. Literally. Mm -hmm. Mother's nose. And you might want to write down that my mother loved to pretend to be her first cousin. We totally knew it was her, but she loved it so much we just played along. Oh, I just wish that I had a tape recorder. So I could... Oh, I could zap one up for you. But probably best not to do that around strangers. <gasps> okay, I'm, I just almost... So, Tabitha, why don't you tell me what your life is like now? Well, I'm the proud mother of six handsome warlocks. Warlocks. Oh, I meant yeah. sons. Warlock. Sons. Please don't write that down. I meant totally meant sons. Well, now that they're a bit older, I've kind of morphed into a social crusader, kind of a equal rights advocate. Well, that's nice. My great uncle was gay. He, he never said he was gay, but he didn't, he didn't have to. Okay, I am. I'm not going to write that down, but. That's nice, too. And my grandpa, he was very, very flamboyant, very theatrical. Oh, my stars. I totally lost track of time. My youngest son is about to be in the Hogwarts play. He's a little bit of a thespian. His grandpapa would be so proud. Toodaloo. Whoops, I totally forgot to pay. Do you take checks? Thank you so much, doctor. You've been very helpful. Yeah.